Roy, we're down to the final last two games of the qualifying campaign and with two games at home, two games to win, it's the position that we ideally wanted to be in when we came yeah. into the campaign. I mean, ideally, I suppose, you'd <laughs> like to have had 24 points from eight games and had no concern about these two, but, you know, realistically, that was always going to be a, a tough ask for us to get our nose that far in front in, in this very difficult group. So we're, we're happy that we, we go into the last two games at home, backed up by our, by our fans who have been immense so far, both home and away in supporting us knowing that two victories assure us of a place in Brazil. The last meet-up, we uh, beat Moldova here at Wembley and then picked up the point in Ukraine. A lot was said after the Ukraine game, but the result itself you know, brings us to the situation here and the, the, the games are still in our own hands, which that was the important yeah. thing coming out of the game. I don't think, to be honest, that uh, people were disappointed with the result. They, the criticism came uh, as a result of what people saw as a a negative style of play. I don't agree with that at all. I mean, I think that when you lose your, your three top strikers before the game, you're always going to be somewhat limited in that respect. And furthermore, I don't think that with the nature of the game, both teams perhaps were slightly more uh, cautious. I think had Ukraine opened themselves up more, we'd have had even better attacking opportunities than we had. But they, they seem to be content with the draw as well, strangely enough. Um, but obviously now we know that what we've got to do is to win. Um, we've got, hopefully, in the squad I've selected, the players who will enable us to do that. All I've got to hope now is that we come through the weekend with those players fit and able to join us on Monday and play on Friday and Tuesday. We've been preparing for a long time now for this qualification, you know, reaching the final stage of it, believing that when we got to the final stage we'd be good enough to get ourselves over the line. And uh, now is the opportunity to prove that. And the games are here at Wembley, which is important to us because we, we feel comfortable playing at home and we feel that we're going to get very, very good support from the fans who come to the game. Yeah, and you've selected your squad. We mentioned the, the forwards, which, which you're pleased with. And looking elsewhere and there, the, the emergence of Ross Barker this year must have been a, a good boost yeah. for the midfield area. I think there's been the emergence of a lot of very interesting under-21 players this year. I mean, Ross is, is even younger. I don't think he's 20 yet. So... It's nice that people like himself are emerging. Uh, Gareth Southgate and his under-21 team are some unbelievably exciting players. And I think the future for our football looks good. But of course we need, first of all, to, to get to, to the World Cup and to give ourselves a chance to continue this situation where the team, I think, will, will get stronger and stronger. You spoke as well yesterday about, about Joe Hart and how you're going to stick by him in, in the goal. Um, he's always done a great job for England yeah. um, since you've been in charge and, and I suppose at this time in the campaign it's, it's not a, a great time to be tinkering with anything. No, no. Joe's a man who's capable of uh, accepting the responsibility, he's got the experience, he's got the quality, he's our number one goalkeeper. It's a pity that he's had a game where He's coming for some criticism because of a goal or two that he let in, but that's a goalkeeper's fate, unfortunately. They, you know, he, he could be coming into the game having made some wonder saves and Bayern Munich having been beaten 1-0 by Man City, thanks largely to his performance, but that isn't the case. But he'll put that behind him. He's still our number one goalkeeper. And with the choice of goalkeepers we've got, I've got no hesitation whatsoever in playing him.